this episode, most of you probably didn't even know we had a technically called an ice farm on the server. Uh, basically, all it was is we'll go take a look at it, but it's not really a farm to me, but uh, yeah, we did technically have one. I did need it for the guardian farm when I did, because I drained the whole thing out and then built the schematic up like that, so I needed to fill the whole thing in with ice to get water sources, because getting that many water buckets would basically not be possible, but yeah, technically we do have one on the server currently, and that is this giant pool of ice or water that just freezes. So yeah, this is technically the only ice farm we have on the server, and uh, I personally mined 50,000 ice with this just for that uh, guardian farm. So we've never seen that before. It is quite a way over here. Uh, it's covered by the decoration, but you can kind of see the farm on the bottom here, that stone on the bottom there. I basically had to fill in all of that area because I drained it out to see the schematic because I never built this uh, farm before. So I had to fill all the areas in with ice to you know, make the farm actually work. But yeah, that's that over there. Uh, that's what all the ice came from, and that's why ice is my third most mined block at 121,000. Even after all of the overworld digs we've done, andesite, dirt, uh, diorite, granite, sand are not even close, or like they're not even on top of ice here. But we did reach 1.8 million, almost 1.9 million stone, and that is because I just recently got to 5 million digs here, which is one of the most digs I've ever done, even with all the perimeters we've done in this world. Uh, it's still at 5 million digs, which is kind of crazy, and it'll probably only continue to go up. But uh, yeah, so today we're going to be upgrading this ice farm. Uh, hopefully we can get it all done. I don't know about the decoration, because that is still in development, so I don't know uh, how that will be. It still looks pretty cool in its current state, but I don't think that's going to be finished, because it currently needs about 39 shulkers of packed ice and... 17 shulkers of blue ice for the decoration and it's not even done yet there still needs to be added like a back wall and everything so we don't see the ugly perimeter but uh yeah let's go take a look at what we've done so far in about uh, nine hours is what it took us to get this area all done and dusted so we're back to world eaters and uh yeah we have a time lapse of this here we'll show you the time lapse of the world eater i couldn't get a time lapse of the full thing uh unfortunately but we do have a time lapse of the world eater running uh, and everything so yeah uh, this took us about eight hours to do or about eight hours to get down to the last two layers and then we did the uh, flat floor here so that took about 90 minutes or two hours uh, to do with all these beacons and everything so uh yeah this was kind of our fastest perimeter that we've done so far um yeah this took us about eight hours that is from Getting the trenches all done, you can see we mined, or I mined, uh, the two side trenches here. That's why they're flat walls, and then we bombed out the two other sides, which is why those look a bit of a mess. But yeah, eight hours, starting from the first dig that I did, basically. So the first block that I broke when mining the trenches, which is, is still very, not the fastest ever, but it is very fast for only three to four people work on it at a time. And I think we had the World Eater built up in about 90 minutes to two hours. So it was definitely quite, quite quick. And then World Eater took about three hours to run. And that rounds about eight hours uh, for this perimeter here, which is really, really cool. And obviously it's just a standard size perimeter. Uh, 272 is what clears out here. So a little bigger than a regular perimeter, but that's just kind of the standard for us. So uh, yeah, this basically this little ice farm will be not inside this perimeter, of course, but we'll be building quite a substantially faster farm. All right, so got a bit of a progress update here. Uh, I will try to get a time lapse. This ice farm is going to take quite some time. Like I said, it is two hundred thousand bucks, uh, not even including the decoration. I'm going to put on the outside, which is probably going to be close to four hundred thousand blocks as well, but. Uh, that will, uh, I don't know, it's gonna look cool, so it should be worth it. But uh, yeah, so the farm we got so far, 
and you can use a little bit of deco here that's just so we can have some place for our materials and everything and then we have our floor decoration materials over here but the farm up here you can see is quite a massive thing and this is only the like the bare bottom of the farm basically so the farm part is up here and then we have the uh, repair system down here which is obviously portals which we will uh, use the xp from the pigmen to repair our tools uh, this will go down here and i don't know what works on here but uh, this, is, this was designed by fallen breath so if you do want to see this uh, farm video Fallen has a video explaining everything here, so uh, you should go check that out. But uh, yeah, so this will be done here, and then that'll transport the XP up to us uh, through these elevators here. Uh, one of these two, yeah, this one over here. And then the player will be standing uh, over here, pickaxe, and uh, mining away. I don't know why I'm jumping, but. Okay, well, the player stands right here. This is where basically the player will stand. And then we'll just be holding down right click and they will get the XP, I believe, through the slab here. Or probably the slab right here. That seems to make the most sense. But yeah, the player will just sit there just uh, attacking continuously and mining all the ice. This will create about 72,000 ice per hour, which will be good for us. I don't really need that much use for the ice, but for the decoration. We're going to need to run this farm for probably weeks to get enough ice for the decoration, but that will be fine. It shouldn't be bad at all. But yeah, uh, these are the conveyor belts that we basically built up so far. So this will transport the ice over, and then this one, the middle ones here, will transport the ice in the back to the front, and then it'll go up into the system here. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how exactly how this works. I never built one myself, but I can get the understand the general concept to this uh, system. One thing we do need to add, because there is not, not on it at all, we need to add a storage. So I'm gonna develop a storage, something like that. We'll probably only have one uh, 8x shulker loader that will keep up with all the ice, because eight times nine is 72, it's created 72,000 ice an hour. So that we'll be able to keep up. And then we'll just have uh, storage of uh, regular ice. We might, I might develop something that creates them all into we can switch between ice, packed ice, and blue ice. So that we're gonna have that automatically crafted for us and we can just select which one we want. So if we just select the regular ice, the ice will just get compacted into shulker boxes. If we choose the packed ice, that will um, redirect the ice from uh, the shulker loader to a crafter, which will craft the packed ice. And then if we select the blue ice, it'll send another signal to, it'll go to packed ice first then the blue ice so we'll need two different engineers and stuff like that but that'll be fun to design uh really looking forward to that but uh, yeah, i've still got quite a bit of ways to go on this farm here turn the shaders off so we can actually see the light medic uh so we got let's count the layers first so just from the top here rim will finish the bottom part there so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 layers and the top layer is just slabs for spawn proofing so i've spent a total of probably four hours so far on this building this and it's only been one two three four four layers i spent four hours so basically an hour a layer is what i've done so far and it doesn't look like much at all well, if I'm being honest with you, but it is still quite a bit. Disco.
Cyclops EU solve some of the ice form being built. Uh, yeah, kind of a few we do it a layer at a time, but uh, yeah. Dazi and I have been grinding away at this project uh, the past day. Uh, Dazi is also a new member that we accepted as well. So uh, yeah, uh, we got, I think, five or six layers done. I think we actually did. I think Dazi and I did 10 layers so far, and that's including this ice one here that was not part of the time lapse, but this was a pain. So pretty much what we had to do, as you can see that all these are, are waterlogged here. So what we did is we basically filled all of these things with ice here, and then we had to break them all again to then waterlog the slabs in the center. And then that's how the ice forms uh, with this farm here. So that was two hours between the both of us just for the water. So it would have been like a four hour job by yourself, which is kind of crazy. And let alone all the ice needed for that. So uh, yeah, that's the actual spawning spaces and all this redstone is to transport the ice to the player, which is actually crazy. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be worth it. 72,000 ice per hour is going to be very, very nice. And pretty much that is the or max that you can actually get with one player so uh yeah so we have these up here to uh, keep the water from turning into ice here so we have a few more layers i think so we have this one right here where i started doing the pistons for and then we have the top final layers i don't know if we're going to swap these cauldrons out for composters we probably will because you need to get a bucket of water for each one and then two water two glass bottles to get it to the layer or the level that it is, so that is a pain to do. And with a uh, composter, we can just use one sapling to do that. I think maybe a little bit more, but uh, hopefully we can do that instead. That way we don't have to do all these water buckets and bottles and stuff like that. So yeah, it'd be a waste of iron, but we already crafted these, but it'd be a waste to uh, a pain, even worse, it would be even worse than the ice spawning pads down here to do uh, that. So hopefully we might swap it out for composters, be easy on us, but we shall see. So yeah, I gotta crack out these pistons here and then we're close to getting done the farm. Not too much has been done on the deco, but it has been finished, which is good. I mean, it finished in the creative testing world that is. So we still got to build it up, uh, including the floor. It's about 300,000 blocks just for the decoration. So that's going to be crazy. And I think about 20 shulker boxes is blue ice and 60 shulkers is packed ice. So that is, um, yeah, quite a bit of ice. we got to go farm from this. So this will be running for quite some time to get all of that blue ice and packed ice for the decoration. But uh, yeah. It's going to look very cool. It's going to be one of our sickest primitors we've ever had. But uh, yeah, so let's get back to the grind as Dazi joined back. And we'll get back to finishing, hopefully, this ice farm. I think the whole ice farm is completed now. We have the whole farm done. Dazi and I did, I think, the last 75% of this farm in a day and a half, basically. Probably only 24 hours, if I'm being honest with you. We finished the majority of the farm. We grinded that out very, very quickly uh, compared to their, their little 25% at the bottom here. But uh, yeah, so the whole thing should be good. We got it back up and everything. We just finished the storage down here as well. And then this is where the portal will be where I am. So you have to walk over here. This is just the old portal in line with the old portal over here. So the old portal is like right around here. So it just went straight across and put it there. And then we just move that portal a little bit over and then yeah so if you have the storage I designed here so we have storage for about I think it's like close to 2 million ice here in shulker box form of course and we have a button selector panel if you want to do ice mode uh, packed ice and blue ice so it's currently in the ice mode we need to put item frames here and everything uh, but yeah so we have packed ice storage over here and then blue ice which will probably never get filled it might but Probably won't even get close, but uh, yeah. So yeah, we got the storage up here, or down here, and then up here, there will, there will be a twisted vine going up here that'll be easier to access. 
we have the ice player in there right now and we should be ready to go all right so the farm should be fully functional now we had a bit of an issue with the needing to fill some of the ice in with the uh the things here the conveyors here so we had to do that in uh some places because the observer i think needed at some place i don't know i didn't do it i was at work uh dazi and rim worked through this so hopefully this is all good now and we should be good to go we also have the storage built up here and we have the portal connected to the hub now so we just move the same portal that's why it's so far over here uh, we don't we can't go to the right anymore because of the other bolt that's next to it so we have to go here and i made this decoration for the tunnel here which i think is pretty good uh i guess it connects up to here and then we're up here with the player the ice guy skin right here we'll let him go we have a beacon up here so that they do not uh, starve, which they are taking damage right now. But hopefully, uh, we should be good. Also, most of the uh, floor decoration is done here, which is pretty good. I think all we need is the packed ice, maybe a few other things. But other than that, that should be all the floor. And then we've got to do the walls. That'll be its, its own episode because that's going to take quite some time. Uh, it might get mixed in with uh, some other things, depending on everything. But uh, yeah, within the map here. You can see just how crazy this looks, even though part of them is covered. Once we get the walls in, you won't see too much on the map, but it'll look so much better in person. And right here is one of my favorite views of things so far. Obviously, once we get the walls in, it'll be all good. But let's turn the farm on and see if we are doing good. I think currently we are in blue ice mode. Yes, we are in blue ice mode. Um, so that everything will go with the blue ice. You can see the crafters in action. So let's get to it. Hopefully the server doesn't crash. We have Starlight now. Uh, I have it on my client side as well as the server. So hopefully it doesn't break anything. All right, the ice coming in looks good. Obviously we need to uh, test this for quite some time. To get all of the blue ice uh, required for the wall decoration, we need to run the farm for about two days, which is <laughs> quite some time. So hopefully we don't lag the server out again, because uh, that would not be good. Uh, we need it to at least you know be able to move everywhere while the farm is running. So you can see we're in blue ice mode, so we block off the regular uh, ice getting packed into a shulker box here. So then we can put it to this one over here where it gets into this crafter here that I made. This is a, a 4x uh, full block crafter. So this one can handle uh, 36 per slice. That's so too wide tileable. Uh, so I made this, looks pretty good. And which is really good. Uh, where it wasn't needed to make it too wide tileable or at all, but it does work. So this will keep up with the 72,000 input, because each one of the crafters has four hoppers, that's 36,000, and 36,000, 72,000, which means that we get about 8,000 packed ice an hour here. And then since we're in the blue ice mode, uh, we block off the one that goes just to the shulker loader for the packed ice. And then we go up this one over here into just a regular standard crafter, which once it gets filled up, it'll craft a blue ice. So we get about 850-ish, uh blue ice per hour that's if we get all 72 which fallen has said this uh passed a very long hour test where it didn't miss a single ice so we should roughly get about 800 to 900 blue ice per hour and that just tells you that we need about 20 shulker boxes of blue ice for the walls and about 60 or so packed ice for the walls so now we gotta get all those materials for that uh, so let's go see if the chunks are loaded. Server MS is looking good. Uh, when we first ran it, the server MS was about, it would fluctuate between 40 and down to about like what it is right now, about 11, 12. So let's go see if some chunks are loaded still. That will be the main test to see. Because we were light suppression, light suppression, the, um, 
the world because the farm does do that to itself. Uh, most ice farms do. Nothing you can really do about it. You need sky access for the ice to form. So, uh, yeah. But it looks, it looks good. Server is a bit high in performance. Or MS, rather. But we... Uh, doesn't look too bad. But chunks are loaded. That's a good thing. Let's do the ultimate test and go through the nether. That should be... Confirm it if we are working at all. Oh, yes, there's no portal here. This will link to the bottom now. Right next to the sugar farm. But chunks do seem to be loaded. All right, onto the roof. Chunks seem to be good, so I think we're good to do some other things on the server. Obviously, don't want to do anything too crazy because we'll probably stay around 20 MS minimum with other people in other dimensions and stuff like that. But hopefully, this is looking good so far. And now we can just have that, uh, the ice farm just stay there basically infinitely. The XP from the portal pigmen repair the pickaxe. So that's good. Uh, we are in the new piston bolt. Not new, but I did extend it so that you saw what the portal was below. We extended it over here so that it links up correctly with the ice farm and not the, the ice platform that we used to have. Uh, over here so we went from this to that and we stay in one spot we don't need to move around anymore so that's always good and yeah so it's looking good uh hopefully we can get all of our icing for the decoration and we can start doing that in the next episode so yeah uh, like i said we can switch between ice mode packed ice and blue ice uh, we need the blue ice and packed ice so we'll just throw it all into blue ice for now if we need anything else, uh, we can always just run it in regular ice mode. Uh, but yeah, that's going to look good. So hopefully we'll get all of the ice we need. And yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, all those sorts of things. And I'll see you in the next one.